So uh, let's also talk about uh, Bud. Bud Light came out with their quarterly results, I guess end of the year results. Um, they're trying to spin this too, but it's hard to um, hard to spin facts, okay? So um, they missed their revenue uh, worldwide just a little bit. Um, part of they did increase their revenue, but not as much as they were expecting. Um, but they achieved that by increasing prices around the world. Now, if you talk about U.S. sales, um, sales to retailers in the U.S. fell by 17.4% in the last quarter. Let me say that again. U.S. sales um, for beer fell by 17.4% in the last quarter of 2023. Um, that's not just Bud Light. That's all of their beers. They also sell Stella, Budweiser, Corona. So uh, um, brand-wide, 17.5%, um, which they're blaming on the decline of Bud Light. Um the slump was is deeper than the 16.6 .6 fall seen in the third quarter of last year. Um, and it means InBev has now suffered three consecutive quarters of double-digit sales falls in the USA. So uh, things are heading further downward for Bud, folks. It's not even uh, plateauing. They're just keeping um, heading down downward south um so it's not a good thing i see their stock is down about four percent today on the news of these um these quarterly results um it says uh what else what other facts do we have here uh revenues in north america fell by 9.5 percent um they sold 19.7 heck liters of beer in the final three months of 2023 compared to 23.4 for the same period of 22. A declining amount of roughly 651 million pints. So there you have it. Um, even their... Uh, their sales in the last quarter, 19.7 versus 23.4. So they're down. They're down. Um, what else do they have to say here? Uh, yeah, we haven't heard much about Alicia Heiderscheid. I don't know if she's still working for the brand or not. I doubt it. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's. I, I don't drink this stuff anymore, folks. I do not drink Bud or Bud Light or any. Try to avoid any of their products. Sometimes you can't, but um, not drinking it. Not drinking it. And as I, I did a perusal of a Walmart um, later earlier this week, I saw that there was... Um, still not a there was plenty of product on the shelves and the shelf space is uh, decreasing and uh, people just aren't buying it people are not buying it they're trying other things and as i told somebody uh, i know eight or nine places that that used to have bud on tap and they um they got rid of it they got rid of it they brought in another other beers one of them was hams um, there's one place that um, that brought in hams and put it on tap and I kind of enjoy it. It's a good beer. Hams is a good beer. It's an oldie but a goodie. Let's see if I can play you some of our uh, let's see here's a here's a video. This is from a few months ago but let's see if we can bring this up here folks. All right, we'll try that. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Bundle. Let's make sure it's there. Okay, we got it. We've got it. We've got it. Let's go. This is back when they were laying off 350 employees. Is now in the process of laying off 345 corporate office employees. Oh, 
such a Budweiser. There you go, guys. It's from July, folks. Look at all the bud. Well, you can tell here, Coors Light, Miller Light. A lot of empty space there. Definitely got, got some sales going on, even over here, Bush. Look at the shelf space allocated to some of these other brands. Look at all the Bush. Can't get rid of the Bush. Packed in there, folks. Bud, Bud only has like three or four to cross there. Lights out for Bud Light. Fully stocked, guys. Look at that. We got some fruity stuff going on here. They put peach with your Bud Light piss water. But look at that. There's still not anything selling there. White Claws are doing well. And Truly. Truly's good stuff. I like Truly. We've got lots of Modelo. Look at the prices. No Bud or Bud Light on the end cap. No end cap space whatsoever. It's gone for them, except for their Bush products. Figure that one out. Pisswiser! There you have it, folks. Bud Light is not... Yeah, let's turn that off. Let's uh, turn that off. So there you go. Budweiser sales are plummeting and uh, the free-for-all continues folks so uh, the people that aren't drinking that crud are making a difference are making a difference I feel sorry for the people that work for Bud but maybe they should work for a better company maybe they should work for a company that has increased sales such as as uh, Miller Miller sales are probably up 20 to 25 percent um, Modelo, which is actually not owned by InBev, it's owned by somebody else in the United States. Their sales are up. Um, Yangling, Yangling's way up there too. So they're a, they're a great brewer, but you can't get that here in Illinois. You got to go to Indiana to get yourself some Yangling, or east of Illinois you can get Yangling. <coughs> so um, that's a good beer if you can find it. Um, here in Illinois, we head north to Wisconsin. We get ourselves some uh, some spotted cow, some spotted cow. There's a good company that makes that. So uh, and there's there's always Miller products here too. So I think I'm going to end here today. Um, covered uh, Michigan Avenue and told you guys that the migrants are going to have many less stores to spend all that free money that they take from you, the taxpayer. And um, things are happening in Chicago, folks. The money's starting to run out, and it's going to get real interesting in the next few months. So it's going to be crazy here in Chicago, folks. That's all I got to say. I am DJ Wonder Chrissy. This is Migrant, ha Migrant Mayhem, and we're all part of Land Cruiser Midwest. Like, share, and subscribe because it does matter. Helps us with the algorithm, that nasty, nasty, nasty algorithm that tries to keep our views down. So share, like, share, and subscribe. Share with your friends, family, and whoever else out there that might be interested in learning about mayhem. DJ Wonder Chrissy over 